In this video, I'm going to uh, talk about a new feature within Microsoft Edge browser called as Edge Workspaces. Uh, Edge Workspaces provides a capability to organize browsing tasks into dedicated window. Uh, it's one of the collaborative features uh, and it is best utilized within uh, a business scenario. So I'm going to talk uh, about a scenario whereby people have, you know, uh, registered for say Office 365 or Microsoft 365. So workspace, basically what, what does a workspace contains? The workspace contains tabs and favorites. So this is kind of a uh, kind of an app uh, a functionality within Microsoft Edge, which makes uh, your best utilization of the collaboration within your organization. So it lets user share set of browser tabs. It lets user comment on a browser tab. Uh, and what all things can be shared in real time is browser tabs, favorites, history. What doesn't get shared is uh, other than that, you know, like your uh, passwords or your uh, like a, a basic uh, other settings within your Microsoft Edge. So only tabs, favorites, and history gets shared uh, in, a, in a workspace. Uh, but what is the prerequisites? The prerequisite is like a, 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 the user should have an Edge version 114 plus. So it should be more than that. Uh, user should have a valid Office 365 account, which uh, has one drive for business account attached to it. Uh, and once you have an Office 365 account, but obviously you will have an Azure Active Directory tenant registered. Now, the limitations for Edge workspaces are it cannot be shared with external users. So, for example, if you have a tenant uh, for your organization, you can't share that workspace with other user or an external user not belonging to your tenant. Okay, so it can be only within your tenant. Now, only top level navigations are shared. So uh, when I say a browser tabs is shared means uh, if, if a uh, tab has multiple uh, deep links attached to it, uh, it, it will not be uh, considered as uh, a URL or a browser tab, which can be shared. Okay, so I'll go through that in the demo, uh, but uh, this just like a housekeeping stuff, which I'm uh, setting the stage on. Uh, use cases, what is the use case for it? Now think about it in your organization, if there is uh, say new project coming up, okay? And if you want to brainstorm about it, and if you want to brainstorm with different people working uh, uh, around the clock uh, in different time zones, okay? Now what you can do, you can provision a workspace and then ask the team members to access the workspace. Now within that workspace, you will be able to see the tabs opened by your team members. You can also see who is using which tab what they are doing and how they are commenting on that tab okay so it is good for research exploration project it is good for an onboarding individual so if you uh, want to onboard uh, any person within your or business or your department then you can create a set of workspace with an open tab of uh, maybe a policy document or maybe um, uh, like a help document on how to use the system within your organization, uh, tips and tricks and those sort of things, you know. So, so the uh, the collaboration between the team uh, is like a prime important over here, you know. Uh, uh, if there are research topics exploration, if, if there is some pressing issue and if you want three or four team members to work on it or maybe one or more team members to work on it, uh, this will be a handy uh, application uh, functionality within Microsoft Edge. So uh, what I'm going to do is like I'm just going to uh, demonstrate some functionality now. OK, now, OK, I'm in Edge workspace. Uh, I, I'm in currently Microsoft Edge. Let me see the version what I have. I have 114 version. OK, so this satisfies all the condition. Now, remember, now once you are in Microsoft Edge, then on the top left, if you see on the top left, you see this icon. This is called as a workspace icon. It's called as a workspace menu, okay? So you just need to click on it, okay? So click on it. Now, we've already provisioned a couple of workspaces. You may not see one if you are creating it for the first time. So what you should do is first you need to click on create new workspace, okay? Now, let's see what all the other options you have. You can move all tabs to new workspace. You can hide workspace button. So let's take one scenario, like if I have some, some uh, support issue coming up, okay? And I want team members to collaborate on it. So what I'm gonna do, I will click on create new workspace and I'll call this, uh, say CRM, uh, 
rendering issue so some some uh, random topic i took okay and this is the issue i i'll select the color of the tab so let me select say maybe orange okay now this is also significant i'll show you in a moment i click on done okay now what i essentially have done is i have created a workspace called a crm rendering issue and now this workspace is opened in my profile but in a different window okay so now crm rendering issue is a workspace now what do i do with this workspace so let's assume uh, if i ask my team members to uh, or collaborate and work on this but i will set some stage okay so just hypothetically i will open some site okay so let's assume i open my site which gives some insight about uh, uh, maybe say some crm related issue okay i'll just open this page okay it's, it's just a random uh, opening of page and maybe i'll i, I might open learn.microsoft.com okay um, so maybe I just open this. So I have one, two, three tabs which might help my team members to troubleshoot further, and then they can also contribute uh, in 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 this troubleshooting exercise. Okay. Now this is good, but now I have my team member called as say maybe uh, let me open uh, who's this guy? This guy is Lee. Okay. So this guy is Lee Gu. Okay. Now this Lee Gu, if I see the workspace over here, now he does not have that workspace listed over here okay that's fine what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go to this workspace of mine so i'm the creator girish is the creator now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna uh, see this workspace over here crm rendering issue and i can invite i can invite the person okay now the invitation is not like you invite a user but then you just copy the link share the link with that particular set of user okay so let me go to alex so this guy is uh Ligu, okay so this guy is not alex this guy is Ligu, but i'm going to invite that guy okay so i'm going to invite Ligu. so what i'm going to do is i'll just type my uh name over uh, the url in the browser okay now what happens when this uh, uh url is copy pasted then Ligu also sees the workspaces. So I'm now in the context of say Ligu, okay? And uh, I can see all the tabs open. So maybe Ligu can also open one tab, say let's assume uh, maybe Microsoft.com, okay? Now Ligu has opened the site Microsoft.com and uh, yeah, okay. So let me again go back to my workspace and see in my workspace now i'm in my workspace i can see this tab opened okay so this tab is open now now i'm going to again invite another user in my workspace so let me again invite user so i just copy the link and this time i'm going to invite alex okay so let me invite alex now at the moment i invite alex uh alex will also see the workspaces over here okay now, okay, what does Alex see now? Alex see the workspaces, okay? And also Alex will see who all are in that tab or which tab, okay? So if you see under Alex's context, I can see Girish is in one of the tab, okay? Uh, let me move, uh, say, uh, Ligu to Solution Publisher tab, okay? And now if I go into Alex and then Alex can see that uh, you know like all these users are collaborating and then you know like in solution publisher tab uh, there is say uh, legal okay then what i can do is let me see what options what all other options i have okay i can say i can go to that tab i can go to the users tab or i can invite uh, further collaborative users okay now uh, there might be many other settings coming up but currently it is a bit limited okay now what do we do over here is uh, let me open all these things in a different uh, windows okay and then show you all at the same time so maybe this is alex and maybe maybe this is let me show it over here okay yeah so now uh, this is girish over here and let me see yeah, this is both alex okay now okay now what i'm gonna do is uh, let me uh, open another uh, tab called let's say apple.com okay so if this is an another activity which i'm doing now this tab will also get opened here you know 
automatically because this is part of that workspace okay i'll just close this because this is not adding value uh, let me open another user which is Liku. okay so let me put this Liku as a top here okay yeah so so what you can see as Lee Gu, uh, he also has all the tabs open, which I have uh, rendered over here. Okay, and it, apart from that, he has other workspaces opened as well. So in, in a nutshell, what you can do is uh, you can collaborate with other users. You can see who, which user is working on which tab, and then you can, you know, like further uh, communicate uh, based on uh, the functionality of say of functionality of that particular solution or maybe if you're troubleshooting some issue you can uh, talk about it so i'm just open some random uh, pages but you can do all these things with this okay and you can invite collaborators from here or maybe you can invite collaborators from here as well just by clicking on this main poll icon okay and you can edit the workspace you can leave the workspace as well so if you don't want to be part of this group or if the project is over and if you want to disband the team you can leave the workspace okay now i'll just leave the workspace and say it says are you sure you want to leave uh, then all this information will get removed from your device okay and then i'll say okay that's fine with me now what happens technically in the back end okay now i have shown you how to create crm rendering issue workspace okay this is a workspace so i'm the owner of it and i have invited a couple of users they did some activity now what technically happens happens in the back end is uh it stores this information you know it stores this uh information in one drive so in one drive it creates a folder called as apps under apps it creates a folder called as microsoft edge and within edge it will create a folder called as edge workspaces now if you see here this is a pointer crm renting issue dot edge this is technically a workspace which you have created maybe like a minute ago okay and this is the size of that workspace so uh, that's why you know like one of the requirement was to have uh, one drive in place uh, for this particular uh, exercise okay uh, now uh, let me open this workspace okay now you can color the workspace now i've colored this workspace yellow uh, or orange okay i have this one more workspace which i have created long back uh, it, it's in pink color okay so you can uh, you know like uh, color it based on your need based on your preferences okay so one thing to note uh, when you're working on a workspace uh, make sure that you're logged into your profile and that profile is signed in okay because if you do not log into your profile then you will not be able to uh, work on uh, the workspace okay so that's the first thing uh, second thing the in tab now i've shown uh, he, you like you know like for all this workspaces you can open the tab and then other person can see the tab which is opened by you but there is an, another important feature which i'm going to first show you how to enable it so if you go to edge colon slash slash flags uh, then there is a feature called as tap comments okay so enable sorry workspaces comments so enable workspaces comments so now it is enabled for me if it is not enabled for you example like if it is like default or disabled then make sure it is enabled so enable workspaces comment should be enabled okay once you do that i've already enabled it then you will see uh, this button over here it's called as comments in workspace okay now let's see what happens so take for example if i'm in this tab and i found a solution okay so i found that oh okay this is the crm rendering issue solution now let me comment on it okay so i'll just put a comment and then i'll say okay uh, this solution alex solution is good and i'll just point to alex okay and uh, maybe uh, if i go in this tab and i'll say okay the uh, this PC will fix up the customer issue. So this is what I'm commenting it. Okay. Now, if you go into say another workspace or, or the same workspace but in another user. Now, if you see here, I'm in say CRM rendering issue. Okay. Uh, now you might see those comments. Uh, tab over here as well so comments in the workspace okay so now if i click here i see the comment and then i'll say okay all good from me 
noted duly. Okay, so I can comment back and forth, and then you know, like it is kind of you're collaborating with your team members in real time. Okay, and uh, if you want to see the overall comments, now there are four tabs over here. Okay, now if you want to see the overall comments for the tab, you will see the first tab here, second tab here, and then maybe in this tab, if I say comment, and let me comment on this tab and say this is event okay uh and then yeah and then if i go as in another user or maybe as now uh then what i can do is uh i can again go into tab comments and i can see all the comments and then i can reply back uh, to specific uh tab comments okay so if i go uh if i if i see all the comments over here listed uh, i can uh, go into individual tab I can see individual tab comments i can reply back okay so i can type the comment i can reply back to the comment i can view all the comments listed within all the tabs for my workspaces so that's a pretty uh, handy functionality uh, and also again you can see uh, who all are present in which tab okay so this is also from here you can navigate to the users tab as well so you can see that girish is in this tab let me so let me first go into this tab and if i select the person over here this is my team member let me see what is that person doing i can go into this tab and then i can explore further so that's it folks uh, that's all about uh, the new functionality within microsoft edge called as app uh, edge workspaces okay